Sometimes I wonder, in a gray area between darkness and light where no one can see my sign for help or hear my plight. You see, sometimes I get lost, rush into things too quickly and I lose the plot, unable to choose between family or friends, law or culture, holy scripture or Facebook. And as the teenager I am, I stick my head in the ground and declare defeat, blame everyone else and have the phrases unfair constantly on repeat, my mind full of unfilled life experiences and lessons I yet haven't fully learned full of lectures given to me by parents and teachers who just don't understand the decisions I have to make on a daily basis. With the only factors helping me being the lust in my young eyes and the wit of my mouth educated by TV comedy and the constant whirlpool of thoughts in my mind that cause me to be morally blind. Add a bit of jealousy and envy given freely to teens like me and you, sir, have got yourself a monster. For I will do anything I want and excuse me for being blunt, but I wasn't born this way. I was more than a fashion by people who refuse to accept the results of their actions and who refuse to be questioned for their reactions because how do you expect people to love their buddies while celebrities look like toothpicks? Saving the world but somehow still managing to look like this and business, that's just for the evil. While politics is like showbiz but then for ugly people, so don't you dare judge me if I just go home and kill seagulls for the amount of things you got away with is just evil. And meanwhile I wonder, amongst thousands of lost souls in a gray area between darkness and light where no one can see our sign for help or hear our plight, where the art of lying is taught and tested, the heart abandoned and rational thinking rested, where others only get respected for the evil they implemented, and I feel like I'm being tested. Walking around with guys big chested and girls big breasted and even though staring and gazing is these days wildly accepted Why should I make her an object of my unwanted affections and him a target of my jealousy and envy completely misdirection? So plagued by this I turn to my ever-increasing mental butter collections and dream of creating the perfect syllables that can make a phrase That can finally put his world in his place boom right in his face so he can finally give me some space to breathe, something I desperately need, right next to a great leader that can lead me out of these whirlpool collisions in my mind that are just too loud. But hey, I'm still a teenager. I might not even know what I'm talking about. Thank you. Woo!